Happy Thursday, everyone. Welcome back to Geeks Are Sexy. I'm Jason Ledoux from Evil Genius Leadership Consultants. It's the fourth Friday of the month where we take over from Michelle Davis and we take care of all things about how to teach you how to be successful here in Las Vegas and beyond, whether that's with your business, your personal life, and your family. We talk about all the things about leadership and being successful. We've got a couple great guests today. We actually have three great guests today. We're going to have Ashley Jordan from My Education Connections is going to join us in a little bit and Cynthia Nutter from CJ Nutter accounting but first we have diana collins who is the founder of collins media productions and also the founding president of the always with me foundation how are you today diana thank you for being here absolutely thank you so much for inviting me it's a pleasure i am good good did you have a did you have a good holiday do you celebrate christmas do you i did i saw so i have my two little girls mm -hmm. um all of our family are here in town so we did a lot of traveling within the state you know in the city and, and you grew up here in las vegas yeah i've been here since 97 Wow. So, so pr pretty much, pretty yeah, much grew yeah, up here. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, this was the first year in a long time that I didn't travel. Most of my family's back east, and for various reasons, um, none of us, do, we just made sense with everybody's schedule to not travel. We're going to catch up in probably the February time frame. But, um, yeah, so Christmas was good. I went to a friend's house for Christmas Eve for Christmas Eve dinner, had a really relaxing uh, Christmas day, and then my mom's birthday is tomorrow, so happy birthday, Mom, and I will call you tomorrow. Don't worry about it. Um, but you are the founder of Collins Media Productions, but also, and I think more importantly and more interestingly, the founding president of the Always With Me Foundation, which helps young mothers with all kinds of support, but mostly focused on helping them have good mental health in motherhood. Yes. Well, welcome to the show. First, tell us about Collins Media Productions and what you do there, but also your story is you started this company as a result of the foundation and your personal story with mental health and motherhood. So let's talk about that. Yeah, so first off, Collins Media Production is, I basically am a podcast producer, manager, and I do sometimes, I do video production on the side as well, um, but mainly most of my clients are, you know, podcasters, and they bring me the audio, and I basically do everything for them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I bring it, wrap it up in a box, and there's their podcast, but... Two years ago, I started out with my own podcast after my best friend had taken her life due to postpartum depression. And I was seven months pregnant. In fact, I was eight months pregnant at her funeral. Mm -hmm. um, I just hit rock bottom. I couldn't recover after that. Um, you know, a month after the funeral, I was in labor with mm -hmm. my second daughter. And all I wanted was just my best friend to be there. And that was mm -hmm. all I could think about not even the birth of my child which don't get me wrong I love her so much mm -hmm. you know she's my, my baby peanut little peanut <laughs> and um, but I couldn't get that out of my head mm -hmm. and so I went on maternity leave came back after a month of going into labor not a good idea and I was expected to come back and be a working woman again mm -hmm. I couldn't do it I just couldn't recover back um, people walk back my cube walk down my cubicle and I'm just crying mm -hmm. and like what's wrong with her <laughs> so you know eight months go by and I hit rock bottom I was mentally unstable could not get back into a right mindset at work could mm -hmm. not get into the mindset of motherhood and I had almost taken my life I was mm -hmm. in the e ER um, for a suicide attempt and that was when I sat there in the hospital feeling like a prisoner really because mm -hmm. that's really what you know, it feels like being in a psych ward. And I said, that's it. I'm quitting my job. Mm -hmm. I am putting mine by two weeks. I don't care. My husband may think I'm crazy for leaving an income, but I had to because mm -hmm. I had to take care of myself. Mm -hmm. And I started my own podcast called the Always With Me podcast, which is still up today. Mm -hmm. um, and I talk about, I interview moms and other mental health advocates to help bring their story out and let no moms know that they're not alone in the struggles, like if they suffer from depression, that they're not a bad mom. And if they suffer from OCD or anxiety or anything like that, that they're mm -hmm. not alone. So after doing that for six months, mm -hmm. I was, I said, I asked my group of my friends, I was like, I want to do something more physical. Um, you know, I'm helping them in a vocal way, mm -hmm. but what is, a way that I can prevent postpartum depression and suicide happening again, or you know what I mean. Um, 
And my friend was like, you could be a postpartum doula. Hmm. Which, so is there anyone who don't know what a postpartum doula is? Yeah, let's talk about that. (laughs) Because I kind of know, and you and I have talked before, but I don't think I know well enough to be able to explain it to somebody else. Yeah, so what we are, so a lot of us understand what a doula are, is a birth doula, which is she sits there with you when you're in labor and guides you and is your coach during labor. And what a postpartum doula is, is that we show up after the birth of your child, Mm -hmm. we come to your home, we take care of, you know, all of the little tasks that you do in your home, like laundry, dishes, meal prep. Mm -hmm. Um, Because after you give birth, if you eat, especially after you had a C-section, you're kind of not mobile. You're not 100%. Yeah. Yeah. And so we help you with that. Um, If you have any questions with is she sleeping right? Is she, mm-hmm. you know, doing all the things correctly? Like, we're there to coach you for the first six to 12 weeks. And so the, and that's how the nonprofit was created. The Always With Me Foundation was mm-hmm. created because, you know, this is viewed as a luxury, although it should be a necessity. Mm-hmm. And, and I wanted to help everyone mm-hmm. out there who maybe are unable to afford it um, mm-hmm. themselves out of their own pocket. And so we've connected with, you know, for example, WIC, a WIC here in Las Vegas, mm-hmm. this is the one on Sunset. And if they run into a mom and she's showing, showing signs of depression or if she's saying things mm-hmm. like, I'm just so tired, I'm so overwhelmed, mm-hmm. like these are triggering words. They come to me, they send me a referral and give me her information and I reach out okay. to her. So those are the words that if someone at WIC hears <laughs> those. Now, mm-hmm. People watching this, they may not be involved with that. They may know somebody. What are some of those words again? Like, tell our audience if they hear somebody saying these words, yeah. or that what well, that they should. What should if they hear this? What are the things they if they hear them, they should point them over to you. Yeah. So, I'll share an example. I had one who just says, "I am so overwhelmed. I'm not sleeping. I can't mm-hmm. sleep." Um, You know, they say we sleep where the baby sleeps, and when she's saying, I'm just overwhelmed, I have this fear that the baby's going to die, or I have this fear of me dying. Mm -hmm. You know, these are triggering words, kind of like, hmm, you know, and and it's not just WIC who can refer them, send a referral out. Um, Any of you, any of you, if you've heard a young woman who has just given birth, or is maybe even about to give birth, who's already feeling this way... If you hear somebody saying these young woman who's just given birth or the family's talking about this way, please connect them up with Diana. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, um, and this is all you provide this free <laughs> to the cert to the to the the young women to the families who need this, which is yes. as you said, it's considered a luxury, but it's really something that's very necessary for every new mom. Absolutely. So, and that's why that's where our donations come in, mm-hmm. right? So. You know, a postpartum doula can range between like twenty to thirty dollars an hour mm-hmm. for let's say they usually do about six the first six to twelve weeks um, for a few hours, either twice you know twice a week, mm-hmm. maybe even four times a week. You know, it depends on how often it's needed, and so that's where the donations go to not only pay for our fees, mm-hmm. um, all kinds of licensing, um, but to pay for that doula. Yeah, you know? and and how can how can our audience donate to you, or who can they connect you with to be a great donor for you? Absolutely. So if you go to alwayswithme.org, everything is on there, including our podcast, how to donate. Um, there'll be a short clip on my full story and how I've recovered for the past two and a half years. Yeah. So just go to that website and you'll find anything, everything about the Always With Me Foundation. That's great. And uh, one last thing I want to talk about. It's not just the in-home service that you provide. You have an online support group that you do for women as well. Can you tell us a little bit about that? How people, if they're not ready to come ask for that kind of help, but maybe get involved in the online support group, yeah. how can they find that? Yeah, so it's also on the website, but if you, it's on Facebook. Um, so you search Facebook groups and it's called Mommy Tribe with Always With Me. And if you can't find it that way, you can always go to the website but there's a lot of there's some therapists on there there are even you know my vice president is a postpartum doula who has you know years beyond more experience than I do and if anyone comes in there and asks questions comfortably and not have to be physically somewhere she's still comfortably in her home 
she gets that support. That's that she great. Needs. And is it fair to say that if someone's a doula out there, a postpartum doula out there, you could you'd be happy please. to learn to meet them? Right? Yes, please. <laughs> well, that's great. We're just about out of time. Tell our audience how they can reach you and the foundation again, and if they're interested in you packaging up their podcast for sure. them, how they can find uh, Collins Media as well. Absolutely. So you can find us again always with me dot org or on the um, on Facebook, the Always With Me Foundation. And if you have a podcast as well and you need help and overwhelmed with all the things, go to collinsmediaproduction.com. All right. Well, thank you so much, Diana. We're going to have you back in a little bit for our panel discussion. Next, we're going to have Ashley Jordan from My Education Connections. I'm Jason LaDuke. This is Geeks Are Sexy. Stick around. We'll be right back.